The question number two is, in a reaction A plus B giving you 3C, when equilibrium was established, the concentration was A and B is equal to eight moles per dm cube, and C is six moles per dm cube. Now we have to calculate the equilibrium constant, that is what is the Kc, and the initial concentration of A and B. Since, uh, since in order to uh, start solving this question, first we have to copy the equation that is given in the question is A plus B giving you 3C. First, we have to write the moles at initial state. Since the number of moles at initial state is unknown for both the reactants, so we have to assume a variable. So this is what is A and B. And at initial state, the reaction has not been processed. So the number of moles of the product must be zero. Next, we have to write the moles at equilibrium state. When the equilibrium has been established, so the number of moles has been consumed is X. So what is the remaining moles of reactant A at equilibrium is A minus X. And the same is over here for the B is B minus X. And when the equilibrium has been established, how many moles of C or the product has been produced is 3X. Next, we have to proceed for the concentration at equilibrium state. Over here, in order to write the concentration, we must need to know the volume of the container. Since in the question, the volume is not given, so we can easily assume the volume one dm cube. Just by dividing the number of moles, that is A minus X by one, the answer would be same. So the concentration should be A minus X. And the concentration of P would be B minus X and same is over here, the concentration of C is 3X. Now over here in the question, when the equilibrium was established, uh, established is written over here, the concentration of A and B and C are given. So we can again write the concentration at equilibrium state. So A is eight moles per dm cube, B is eight moles per dm cube and C is six moles per dm cube. Over here, the concentrations are known at equilibrium state. So we can now apply the formula according to law of mass action. This is what is the rate expression according to the equation. We can easily now calculate the value of Kc by this equation. That is what is the 3.38 mole per dm cube. The unit of this uh, Kc is mole per dm cube that has been described in earlier video and the link has been provided. Now the next we have to proceed for the initial concentration of A. So over here the 3x we know is the concentration of C at equilibrium same is over here, six moles per dm cube is the concentration of C at equilibrium. Means to say these both are same. So we can write the three X is equals to six. Now we can calculate the value of X that is two. Then what do we know? A minus X, there's a concentration of A at equilibrium, same eight moles per dm cube is the concentration of A at equilibrium. Means to say these both are same. So we, we are writing over here, A minus X is equals to eight. We can, uh, we can now find the value of A by putting the value of X in this formula. So this is what is 10. The number of moles at initial state for A is 10. So since the number of moles has been calculated and what we know is the volume of the container is one. So 10 divided by one is 10. Therefore, concentration of 
A at initial stage is 10 moles per dm cube. By the same method, we can calculate the concentration of P. The initial concentration of V, the three X is equal to six. We can find the value of X that is two. The same is over here, B minus X is equal to eight. We can now calculate the value of B that is 10. Therefore, the concentration just by dividing the 10 by the volume of the container is one. So that is the 10 moles per dm cube. This is the answer. The question number three is uh, in a reaction, 2A plus B giving you 3C. When equilibrium was established, the concentration was uh, A. The concentration of A is five moles per dm cube. B is two moles per dm cube and C is three moles per dm cube. What we have uh, we have to calculate the calculate the equilibrium constant Kc and the initial concentration of A and B. So first, in order to uh, start solving this question, first we have to write the equation. This is what is two A plus B giving you three C. The first one, what we have to write is the moles at initial state. So moles at initial state, uh, since it is uh, unknown, so what we have to write is A and B is to be assumed as a B moles of A at initial state. And since the reaction has not been started, so the moles of the product would be zero. Now the next one is the moles at equilibrium state when the equilibrium has been established. So how many moles of A has been consumed? Since over here, the coefficient number two by this reaction, so the number of moles has been consumed is 2x. So the remaining moles of A after the equilibrium has been established is A minus 2x. B is B minus x because there is only one mole is being consumed during a chemical reaction after the consumption of two moles of A. Now the moles of C at equilibrium would be remaining is three, three X. Well, the concentration at equilibrium over here, the same method, the volume is unknown. So volume is equal to one dm cube we can assume. And finally, the concentration would be same as it is the moles are written for each of the reactant products. So this is the A minus two X, B minus X for A and B respectively, and three X is for C. Now the concentration at equilibrium or are already given for all the reactor in the product. So again, we can write the concentration of A as it is given in the quotient, the five moles per dm cube, B is two moles per dm cube, and C is three moles per dm cube. Just by knowing the, all the values uh, uh, of the concentration of reactor in the product at equilibrium, so we can now put the formula according to the law of mass action. This is what is the formula. Now we can put the values and we can calculate the value of Kc is 0 0.54. This Kc is having no unit. So the first part of this question, we have solved the, the equilibrium constant that is the Kc having the formula 0 0.54. Next for the initial concentration of A, we have to calculate first, we have learned now to uh, solve this question how we have to solve this, 3x is equal to three. So over here, we can calculate the value of x is one. And then what we know, this is the a minus two x is equal to five. So the a minus two x is equal to five. Just by putting the value of x in this equation, we can find the value of a. That is what is the initial moles of a. So here we are. We have solved this and the value of A is seven. So means to say when the reaction was started, the uh, moles of A, moles of reactant A was seven moles. Since the 
volume is once again 1 dm cube so therefore the concentration at initial state for the reactant a is 7 moles per dm cube now we have to work for the initial concentration of b the x value is uh, known to us so by putting the value of x in this equation we can find the value of b that is what is 3 so this is the 3 moles and the volume is 1 so 3 divided by 1 is 3 so therefore moles of b at initial state is 3 moles per dm cube so this is what the concentration and the solution of this question thank you very much